Good evening ladies and gentlemen, I'm Super Ego and we are back to Alien Isolation. So we are currently in the process of looking for a a new data cell for the access tuner so that we can hack the lift to get to see some communications. We've had our first main run in with some survivors. Oh fucking hell. Uh, we had our main first run in with some survivors. Um, they weren't exactly the most friendly of people, but we managed to slip past them, and now we're looking for this data cell we need. Got a blueprint. Now we can make some smoke bombs. Which come in handy for getting through areas unseen. So we find an area that doesn't have much cover, for example. Device invalid. So that's that's a room that we can hack through. Oh god. We act through that room once we've repaired the access tuner. Ooh! Excellent! Not gonna make any of them just yet. Now we're locked in. Green buttons are always good. sure there isn't any more goodies hidden around here. Doesn't look like it. Right, hack time. Let's try this thing out. This is pretty straightforward. You move your mouse around until you find the signal. And then you have to match the symbols on the callback code. Pretty straightforward. Although it can get, it can seem like it's harder when you're stressed out. And time is a factor. Awesome rug. God knows how many corporate confidentiality agreements and come up with zip. 
nothing except the Wayland yutani logo and an empty readout. Now, these things are built to last. So either someone on board the Nostromo asked its mother corps to wipe it clean, or somehow the data's been corrupted before it got here. Care to fill me in on why this was a priority job? So something's going on. Definitely noticing less loot pickups on this playthrough. <clears throat> about and a useless map terminal because difficulty <coughs> so we can't get back out that way just yet we've got to disable the security lockdown <coughs> Doors locked, so that's where we came from. Let's go this way. Beware of bag theft. Thieves and pickpockets operate in this area. Protect your belongings. Report any crimes or suspicious activity to the Colonial Marshal Bureau. Like a welding, welding kit. Wrong one. Because I'm not concentrating. Time to be a nosy bugger again. Chief, the good news is that I'm about 80% through arch archiving Sevastopol's internal mail system for the decommissioning. It's been disconnected from Apollo, but I've left the basic messaging system in place for the people still here. The bad news is whoever set it up in the first place skimped on the hardware, and we've had some leaks. I've got Mike Tanaka looking into it now. He's the specialist archivist we called in. Seems to know his shit. Just thought I'd better give you a heads up in the meantime. That's from Franco. An outpost of progress, number one by Julia Jones. The space station that nobody needed, run by a company we all forgot. Sevastopol is now a backwater. A po the population is a tenth of the station's optimal capacity. Docking bays are empty and the shutters are down on local stores and businesses. The orders for Siegson's cheaply manufactured androids have long since dried up and the antiquated Apollo governing AI system frequently malfunctions. How did we get here? And more importantly, where have billions of dollars of investment gone? My name is Julia Jones. I have lived on Sevastopol for two months compiling this report for the Colonial Times, discovering the price of our second-tier corporations have paid for their over-expansion during the race into the Outer Rim. It's very ominous in here. See, these are the best type of desks, the ones you can hide under. Not that we have much cause to hide right now. So many empty boxes. It's not fair. Someone's music collection.
lift isn't working. Might as well open this while we're here. to re deactivate the lockdown. That is one of these. Oh, it's this one. Okay, so, the game is afoot. Yeah, you know what, I think I will save again. Why the hell not? One of the other towers of the station over there. Oh, this looks awesome. It's absolutely gorgeous. Oh, look, another useless map terminal. Even though they are useless on this playthrough, much to my dismay, I'm still going to acquire them, as it were, because they're quite bright, and I like the game to be quite dark, because if it's dark, it means it's harder to see me. <laughs> Excuse me. Do I dare loot? <laughs> Nothing. Oh, that's it, I'm not doing any more. He could drop down at any second.
Come on, come on, come on. Uh, where are we? Where are we? Where are we? Uh, open, 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 go, 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 go. Not too bad. So we're now getting to <clears throat> seek some communications. Where we're going to try and contact the Torrens to tell Valaine what's going on. All visitors must report to reception. It well in, assholes locking the door on me. So selfish. Hello? My name's Ripley. Amanda Ripley. I need your help. Please take a seat. Someone will be with you shortly. No wonder Seekson is losing the tech race. Random items to put into a display case. Turn off the camera feed. Turn off the lights. Much better. Um, you know think? Can I open that door? I can. Always helpful. Always working for you. Our synthetics are made to be simple. No emotional simulations. No light real qualities. They just work for you. So you can get on with your life in perfect peace of mind. Working Joe's. God, this playthrough is so stingy. Just bugger all. So we need an iron torch to cut through there. That's a um, access hatch for a vent. Can't see a friggin' thing. Access hatch. So the one we've just passed, I think, leads to this one. And then this one leads off that way somewhere. So it's an optional route to take. Oh, God. You can trust our working Joe. Can I help you? I need to get into comms control. It's urgent. That is a restricted area. It's an emergency! Don't you realize what's going on? Apollo has the situation in hand. Your registration is almost complete. Forget it. I'll find my own way in. I wouldn't advise it. Brilliantly simple. And simply brilliant. We need a card for there. All these areas that are blocked off. This is as well. Yeah. The creepy android dudes. That leads into a room down in there somewhere, I think. Yeah, there's like a doorway down, those steps that you can just kind of see down there. <coughs> and this is the way we need to go. Come on, give me something. Nope. No power. Oh, there's nothing. I can't make anything. <clears throat> Some kind of tracker. It's been modified. Are you lost? No, no problem.
go. <clears throat> Let's get this door open. Hughes, I've put a manual lock on the door leading upstairs. Don't want any accidents until we figure what's going on here. Chief. Our manifesto, first published in I on Seeds in February 2115. <coughs> we don't want to show you a new world. We want to discover it with you. Here at Seekson, every new technology, research, project and discovery is driven to find real-world applications to help you. We hope you'll join us for the journey. Tomorrow Together, number one. Together, tomorrow, Seekson's journey into colonial space, an official history by Sebastian Sieg, first printed in Ion Seekson. Our origins in space. 2034 changed everything. The advent of faster-than-light travel put Siegson, then known as Sieg and Son, on the path to success. The race into space began in earnest, and under the steady hand of our founder Josiah Sieg, our company was primed and ready for the years that followed. Sieg and Son built the components that enabled ships to extend colonial space beyond the Sol system. As history relates, Whalen Corp was reluctant to share its FTL technologies with other corporations. Fortunately, Josiah Sieg was on hand to speculate, innovate and produce. Without Sieg and Son, the skies would have looked very different indeed. Marie, if you get this, I'm making my way to Sieg's in communications now. I didn't wake you because I knew you'd try and stop me. Please understand, this is our best shot. Someone has got to re-establish communications. We need to make sure the officials back at home know what's going on here. <laughs> Don't worry about me. I'll be back. I'm not going to leave you and Claire alone. Famous last words. Yet again, a lovely addition for Nightmare Mode. The tracker is faulty. The way it's all flickering and garbled on the screen there, that's normally what it's like when you're in a vent. It's normally nice and clear when you're out and about in corridors and rooms. This just gets better and better. Showers. The marker on the edge of the motion tracker marks your objective. Well, I need to go that way. Why is it time to go that way? Oh, I know why. Can't see a bloody thing. Yes, noise maker. Thank you. Chill out room. Actual item.
This is going to be empty, isn't it? Yep. Why would you have something empty in a whatever that is? Let me in. I need to contact my ship. There's got to be another way inside. No, oh, Jesus Christ. Access panels. The rewire, rewire panels. No. Nothing. Nice. Oh, you bugger. Go. Some kind of blueprints. Things. Now we do need our lights. Let me pass. It's me, Hughes. Don't you recognize me? Listen to me. We've got to re-establish long-range communications. You're becoming hysterical. Get back! I'm warning you! Don't! Don't! This is all this happening. Stuff that way. So that's a security camera. We need to get through that lift. Your logged message. Sensitive corporate information has been automatically detected in a Sevasta link message recently sent from this terminal. This event has been logged by Apollo on behalf of Siegson. If you have any further questions, please talk to your line manager or your nearest synthetic, uh, synthetic Siegson representative. Apollo's eye. Riggs, are you still working down in Siegson Communications? Remember that trouble you got into last year? The trouble I helped you out of? Well, it's time to repay that favour. One of my colleagues has been looking into some of the import documents and found a few problems. He's new, so he doesn't understand how we do things on Sevastopol, and he's threatening to go to wait about it. This could hurt us all. So, I need you to keep an eye on him. See if anything interesting comes up. Apollo has cameras everywhere, it just needs someone to tell it where to point to. His name is Daniel Halden, lives in Josiah Sig's, lives in Josiah Sig Executive Apartments 651. This goes goes well. I might have some more work for you. We could clean up here. 
and that's from Ransom. I don't know where I am now. I was trying to work out what I was looking at there. get in this office and see if there's any items because I need items. I've got so few resources it's ridiculous. Go away. Nothing, my god. Right, there's nothing on the desks, so let's get out of here. Right, set the cameras off. Here. Come on. So we've made it to the communication center and this is a good point to end the video so I'd like to thank you very much once again ladies and gentlemen for joining me on this nightmare and for now I will say tatty bye.